Hey guys, in this video, I am going to cover what is automation suite? What is your general understanding around automation suite? We are also going to discuss the different products inside automation suite bundle. Okay, once you have an understanding what is automation suite, then also we were going to look at different products. And finally, in this video, we are also going to go through UiPath Deployment Assistant and how to utilize that. What is it and how to utilize it? We are going to cover. So let's get started. First of all, if you remember when UiPath started with three products, we had UiPath Studio, Orchestrator, and UiPath Robot. This images I have taken captured recently, but again, you can imagine the older uh, we had the studio and then the orchestrator and the robot, they had a quite old look. This, this were the three products, but now UiPath has got multiple products and I'm pretty sure almost all of you will be able to name lot many products. For example, here I'm presenting you around 14 different products that we have from UiPath at the moment and in the future it might grow, the list might grow. So first we have the Action Center, AI Center, Apps, Automation Hub, Data Service, Document Understanding, Computer Vision, like you know so and so forth, Task Mining, Test Manager, so many things, right? Now, uh, you know, these products, Automation Suite, what, what exactly is Automation Suite, right? We will understand that. Now out of these 14 products, there are highly possible that you or your client or your customer may not require all of these products you know you want to only utilize orchestrator process mining or task mining or you do not want them only you need orchestrator and then you would like action center and document understanding right you can you you have a complete flexibility to choose out of this 14 different products of UiPath which one you would you like to enable or disable you know you have the option after the installation is done through automation automation suite now uh, if you are not sure right how to proceed for installation and all that right I am also going to show you uh, how you can access the deployment assistant and take help from the deployment assistant right so at the you know after going through this slides what we have understood is UiPath automation suite is a single packed bundle of various products right all the products that they have uh, I, I would not say all the products there are also a couple of products which are cloud specific not part of the automation suite but again you saw the list of products and in the future th that might grow right of products for self hosting UiPath platform either on on premise or cloud setup or anything any other you know anywhere place any other place where they would like to install this automation suite so this is what our understanding around automation suite now let's have a look okay if i go to my cloud okay this is a cloud this you can call it as saas software as a service where i see multiple different products like orchestrator i have uh, studio web i have apps right i have integration services and if i click on these three dots i have many other products right process task mining data service but again all of this uh, products are available as a direct software for you to use these are the cloud software or you in general you call it as SaaS, right software as a service okay now what if a customer do not need only need couple of them maybe the orchestrator and the task mining and the ai center you know few products he needs so that is where this automation suite uh, bundle helps the customer also sometimes the customer is working on a critical application and they do not like the data to pass out of their company or out of their in infrastructure they would like to manage uh, the entire data in house in such cases even customer uh, may may not like to go through a saas platform rather they would like to maintain their own uh, application uh, where they can manage the data right they can have their own on premise setup or the their own private cloud setup they would like to install the application and manage the data even in that case the automation suite is very very helpful for those kind of requirements coming from the customer now first thing is you know how do you get start you know where do you start it from what, what is there a file that you have to install what is it where it where it is you have no idea then all you have to do go to deployment assistant.uipath.com simply type 
deployment assistant uipath.com okay here there is a button simply click on this button start automation suite deployment it gives you the option choose your deployment profile automation suite can be deployed in a single machine for trial and poc proof of concept and we can deploy it uh, in a multi node deployment that also support production use cases okay so here there is option single node and then you need to hit on next is your environment offline or online okay so th these are two options so generally it will be online if not these are the second this is the second option environment allows controlled access to the public internet via firewall and proxies so this will be usually this will be the case now product to be deployed on automation suite so would you like to define uh, you know what you need orchestrate data access center test manager automation hub automation ops or all products so let me go with all products okay let's see that hit on next and later you know after the installation is done you still have the option to enable or disable so not to worry permission to provision sql okay the installer will be uh, able to create the necessary databases make sure the credentials of installer i'll go with this option hit on next uh, sql authentication mode determines sql server authentication so finally what happens you know once you click on finish if you click on this uh, open deployment guide right this is what i wanted to really show you here you have before getting started uh, your deployment profile is single node sql permission mode so and so service included these are the services i have selected all minimal recommended configuration one server you need 16 vcpus 32 uh, you know uh, gb ram disk so and so so you get lot of details which would help uh, generally a infrastructure guy to decide how he can proceed okay hardware requirements uh, the network requirements that we have and then best practices right uh, it tells to avoid your ssh session getting interrupted we recommend initiating the tmux sessions and so you you got all the steps here okay a person who is aware uh of the infra part you know he will be able to understand these languages and will be able to uh, you know this is a linux so okay, linux based, based commands so this is where you know he have a complete guide uh, going through the complete guide it is definitely going to help him or assist him for his deployment okay so you can go through this uh, my agenda was to show you where it is uh, how you can configure it so this is where the document you find or what we call it as ui path deployment assistant you can see you can go through the complete setup there is a huge huge list of things we will not have enough time to go through on on a single video but again you got to know where is the place and how to look for things all right guys so thank you so much for watching it we are going to meet once again in the next video with some more information thank you take care bye bye